Why is this game so hard? How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooksy HD. Today we have a 25,000 coin squad builder. Once again, just before we actually start, this price could go up, it could come down. I recorded this last night. Player prices might go up, they might go down. I don't actually know, but right now when I bought that team, it was 25,000 coins. Also that 25 pound gift code on Xbox, PlayStation or PC is still going. All you have to do, like always, is like this video, comment as well, and also subscribe. It's literally that easy. And it's fucking free money, boys. It's so easy to win. And just so you guys have prefaced, this is going to go on for about a month, so. The more active you are, the more chance you have of winning. Anyways, like I said, before we get into this as well, I want to say that I am not that great at this game at the moment. I'm still finding it a bit hard to tackle, to defend, and to score. And I know a lot of people are having that issue, so uh, let's get on to the squad builder. Right, so as you can see on the screen there, this is the team. We have in goal, we have Stefan Ruffier. I got this guy for 2,200 coins. He wasn't going for that. That was a mad snipe, by the way. He goes around 3.7k. He is insane in this game. I didn't think he was going to be good. He was great. Center backs then, we have Jeremy Matthew on the right, and we have Timothy Kolodzijak. I hopefully said that properly. I, did, I know I didn't, but uh, hopefully I did. They're both left-footed. They're both really good at defending, and they're both high-medium, which I found is actually better on this game for some reason. It actually works really, really well. Fullbacks then, on the left, we have Gail Clichy, who I got for 1,000 coins, but he goes for around 2,500. And then we have Alex Vidal on the right. Absolutely insane fullback. I cannot stress how important it is for both of your fullbacks to be fast in this game. It's so helpful. The midfield then is at CDM is Stefan and Zonzi. Really good player, really underrated. We'll get onto that in a minute. We have Yannick Balassi on the left, five-star skiller, absolute tank in this game. We have Alex Oxley chamberlain on the right, who I was looking forward to using. And we have Ross Barkley at Cam. Ross Barkley is good. Alex Oxley chamberlain is also really, really, this team is fucking good. Let's put it that way. And to finish off the team, we have Lucas Perez on the right and we have Michi Batshuayi on the left. Really good strikers, they both counteract each other because Perez has four star skills, he's able to pass the ball extremely well, whereas Batshuayi is able to uh, win headers and stuff like that, so they work really, really well. Perez is definitely the better striker because he scores more goals, but it's a really sick team. That was my iPhone, I apologise for that. So this is the team, once again, this is a really sick team. This formation is actually quite good, I really like the, this formation. I didn't like this formation last year, but the 4 one 2 2 seems to be back in FIFA this year. So the first player that I think deserves a mention is Steven and Zonzi or Stefan and Zonzi. I don't know how it's said. I think it's Steven and Zonzi actually. He looks slow, but do not let that fool you. He is an insane CDM. I cannot stress that enough. He stops everything. He is ridiculous at blocking passes, at making crucial interceptions, at making brilliant slide tackles, and he can pass the ball. He is Perfect. Next up then is Steven or Stefan Ruffier. I don't know how to say that one either. Once again, French and Steven and stuff like that. Cutting the mixes over. Ruffier is a fantastic goalkeeper. 85 rated. You would expect it. But I was actually... I didn't like Ruffier last year or the year before because he was too small. This year, however, um, his reflexes, some of the chances one-on-one -on -one he saves are insane. Obviously, like, I never really show uh, goalkeeper clips and I won't be doing that today. But Ruffier, if you can get this guy for Mad Cheap... Get him, because he is fucking insane. And last but not least is Lucas Perez. I packed this guy, actually. I packed this guy three or four times, and he is a really good player, actually. I really, really like him. He has 76 pace, but don't let that fool you. He definitely feels a lot faster, and he has a bit of strength about him as well. So if you use that OP shield thing, uh, just holding L2 or LT on your Xbox controller, and you shield players, he's perfect at that. He can hold the ball up to play through Michi Batshuayi, and it's fucking insane. Perez is a great striker in this game. I'm really happy with this team. Once again, I have no instructions on any of these players, but if you like to use instructions, tell me in the comment section down below. Once again, don't forget, do not, donut. I said donut right there. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video to be entered in with a chance to win a 25 pound gift code on Xbox, PlayStation, or PC. Let's get on to the clips. So guys, as we get on to the clips of this team, I really like this game. Let's start off with prefacing that. I really actually do like this game, but sometimes it's infuriating. Really infuriating. We have a little clip up coming in a second that it was so fucking jokes. I didn't hear it because I, I don't play with game sound. I record the game sound, but I don't actually play with it. And this guy, this goal was fucking AIDS as balls. You're looking at it right now and you see how AIDS this goal is. Like, my guy's injured on the ground. Just wait till you hear this guy's reaction. Remember, I didn't hear this. Fucking game. Fucking 2 0. I actually can't fucking believe this fucking game. Oh, fuck off. Honestly, fuck off. I'm actually fucking infuriated with this fucking pile of shit I'm playing. We've all been there, but that was... 
uh, imagine my surprise when I, I hear that looking back to the clips on this team. Anyways, let's talk about the actual team. We've all been there. That's so infuriating. Uh, yeah, this I actually really like this formation. I might use the 4 one 2 one 2 a lot more this year. Um, I really like how this team's balanced. You got the two attacking fullbacks and Kalishi. Kalishi was actually solid in this game. He was really, really good at attacking. Um, Vidal is great, really fast. Once again, I cannot prep, uh, say it enough how good it is to have fast fullbacks. Center backs of uh, Kolejagach, whatever his name is, and Matthew are great. Rufier is insane. Steven and Zonzi was the best player in this team. Not even kidding you, he was everywhere, stopping everything in every single attack. He was great. Balassi was... Well, I just love Balassi just because he has 5-star skin moves, and this is why. Look, he fucking rinses his whole team and gets a penalty. He's great. Uh, Barkley, really good player. 5-star weak foot as well, so he can bang them long shots with his left foot. Oxley chamberlain really good player. He felt that, that that penalty was filthy. You got Lucas Perez, who scored four goals in these uh, five games that I played. And then you have Michi Batshuayi, who got a few goals as well, but had to quite have a load of goals because some of them were just real shit, you know what I mean? And I'd like to show you the rest of the goals that I uh, scored. Um, yeah, this goal was great, just, just to end it off. So this team, all in all, was great. You can play possession, you can play counter-attack, you can play any which way you want. Because of the formation, it allows you to do so. So remember, guys, like, comment, and subscribe on this video or on, on my channel. Channel for, for to be in with a chance to win that gift code, and I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. What for a career mode out tomorrow?